Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Mind Your Exam. In this video, we will be learning about a special data structures provided by the R programming language, which is factors. So factors is a data structure that allows only the values that are present in a unique set. So basically, there is a predefined set of values from which a factor data structure can accept the values. These predefined set of values is known as levels. And when you define a factor, you define these levels and only out of all these values that are present in the levels, you can create or assign new values to the factor. Okay. So now let's see if we have a vector named sizes, which we have created using the C function. Now this vector contains uh, string values or character values which represent the sizes of garments. So it is S, L, M, XL, 2XL and so on. Now if we want to create a factor from this vector, what we will do, we will use the factor function provided by our programming language. We will pass the vector which is sizes to this function and the resulting data structure would be a factor data structure which we have assigned the name as size underscore factor. So if I execute these three statements and print the size underscore factor, let's see what output we get. So here the three statements have been executed and it is showing that this size factor contains these values that I have just highlighted and the unique values that can be present in this factor are these six values 2XL, L, M, S, XL and XS. These values are known as levels and only out of these values we can insert or change the value that is present in this size factor. Okay, so let's see how we can access different elements that are present in the size factor. Say we have to access or we want to access the second element. So we will use the square bracket notation and write down the position number of the element that we want to access. So I'm executing executing this statement, this should give us the result as the second element of the factor, which is element M. Now let us try to assign a value that is not present in the predefined set of levels. So what I'm doing in this statement is the first value that is presently S in the factor, I'm trying to change that value to double XS. Okay. Now note that this double XS is not any level that is present in this factor. So when I execute this particular statement, the R compiler would give me an error that invalid factor level. So you cannot uh, proceed with the execution of this statement. Now, if I assign the first element as a valid level that is predefined, which is XS or any out of the predefined levels, then this error will not come. So let's execute this. When I execute this statement and again print the size factor, you can see we have successfully changed the first value of the factor, which was originally S. Now it has been changed to XS. Okay. So you can only assign those values in a factor that have been defined in the levels. Now, one another interesting fact about this data structure is that you can assign ordering to the levels that you are defining. So another way of creating this factor is using the factor function and passing the original vector and then specifying the levels in the order that you want the factor to represent. Say for example, you want to tell the R compiler that out of all these levels, the smallest is XS and the largest is 2XL. So in that case, you will set the ordered argument of this function as true. Now, when you do that and you execute this statement, you can see that the R compiler creates a factor which has, which is this factor containing these values and the levels are also clearly defined. And along with the levels, the ordering among the level is also defined. So notice the difference in this statement and in the last statement. So in the previous one, 
the order of the levels was not clear okay but here the order of the levels is clear and it is the same as we have defined while creating this factor so xs is the smallest xs is the smallest then comes s then m and so on okay so this is how you can create factors and define ordering among the levels of these factor values that's all for today's video i hope you have understood the concept thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam